Hey there kids, welcome to another math video for Eureka Math Grade 5. This is for Module 6, Lesson 18, Homework. And hopefully you have your homework done. We'll try to buzz through this and you can check your work. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, try to give it a go on your own before I give you the answers. Um, so the objective, as usual, is at the bottom of the page. And it is to draw symmetric figures on the coordinate plane. Uh, emphasis on symmetry, symmetry, or symmetric about the line is how they say it here uh, in this lesson. And right here, symmetric about the line. So what we're trying to do is make a picture that has balance so it should match. And um, hopefully you also watched the problem set video. There are a couple of good examples of how to do this on there. So let's get started. Use the plane to the right to complete the following tasks. Draw a line, S, whose rule is X is always five. If X is always five, then X will be five no matter what Y is. If Y is one, X is still five. X is five and Y is four. X is five and Y is 10. X is going to be five, so you have your line that goes through five. And that's gonna be your line of symmetry. Line of symmetry means it's like the middle, okay? Plot the points from table A on the grid in order. This is very important. And then connect by drawing line segments to connect the points in order. And you have to do it as you create them. Otherwise, you'll get all confused about where the lines go. So for example, look at your number line and see what you're counting by. Label a few points. One, two, three, four, counting by ones. Now that I know what I'm counting by and I'm used to it and I'm ready, I can start plotting these points. So 113, 1 for x, 13 for uh, y, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's going to be here. Um, I like to check points off when I make them because if you have a whole string of points, it's helpful not to get lost with putting the points on the graph. The next one is 112, 1 for x and 12 for y. So my first line, we are going to connect the points. We're going to we're going to do it now. You don't need a ruler. We're going to freehand. So just connect those two points. Done. 210. 2 10. At this point, you can draw the line. You can use a ruler if it makes you happy if you really want things precise, but our our drawing as you'll see uh doesn't necessarily have to be angular. Uh, 4, 9, 4, and then just below 10. So we're going to connect that point. 4, 3. Now this is 4, but it's much lower on the graph. If that makes you feel like, hey, that's quite a distance, I need to have my ruler handy, of course, use it. Next one is 1, 2. So 1 for x and 2 for y is up here. And you can freehand it, or you can use your ruler. And the final point for table A is 5, 2. So 5 on our line of symmetry and 2. So it's right here. And you can freehand or use your ruler to sort of finish off this um, left side of the line of symmetry. Now, we're done with B, so for part C, it says complete the drawing to create a figure, this is half the figure, that is symmetric about line S. Symmetric about line S, if this is S, and of course it should have the letter S on it, if the left side looks like this, then the right side should mirror that, that's what your line of symmetry does. So. You're going to, for each point in table A, record the symmetric point on the other side of S. So we start out with 113. Okay, that was our first point. Using the line of symmetry, I'm going to look and say 1, 2, 3, 4 intersections away from the line on the left would give me 1, 2, 3, 4 intersections for the point on the right. Okay, now what is the ordered pair of this point? Come down, check that, and then check this, and notice that we have a 913, 
And since it's symmetric about this line here, my y values are the same. Okay, there's maybe going to be a question about that later. The next point was one down. So you can go ahead and put that point and connect the line. Okay, we're going to record this symmetric point on the other side. Eventually, we're going to compare the y coordinates. We're going to connect all the way down. So this point is only one, two, three away from the line of symmetry. One, two, three. Still on the same y value. It has to have the same y for our points so that it is symmetrical. Okay, now uh, plot the points in the graph. The second one was on the same 9, but down lower. This next one was on 8 for x, but 10. And then uh, this one is on 6 for x and 9. Comparing our y values because we have to be just on the opposite side. Same y, but on the opposite side of line S, which is our line of symmetry. Come down here. So we're one intersection away. Use your ruler if that makes you happy. It's a longer line, so it could be problematic if you don't. And uh, this one is 6-3. Finally, we have to go out again. Remember to make the base of this what appears to be a chalice, a glass, a fishbowl, fancy something or other. And so since our, um, our intersections, it's one, two, three, four away, one, two, three, four away. And then you can connect here and then bring it back to the center here. Now you have a symmetrical a picture. You don't have to close it off at the top. I know my students like to close it off and color it and put something inside there. That's fine, but it's really more about the math. Our final two points are 9-2 um, and then the last one is 5-2. Okay, so um, now you have this very nice picture, symmetric about line S, and we can answer our questions here. So compare the y coordinates in table A with those of table B. What do you notice? So the y coordinates in A with the y coordinates in B. Look, 13, 13, 12, 12, 10, 10, 9, 9, threes, twos, twos. So the y coordinates, the y's are the same. And um, then compare the x coordinates in table A with those in B. Now you might say, okay, well, they're totally different. So there's one here, nine here, one, nine, two, and eight, four, and six. So what do they have in common? So what they have in common is that the difference between the x values is going to have the same when you subtract it from the s line, which is five. So um, they're equally distant. They're equally distant from line S. So for example, uh, if this is 1 and then S is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. So it's 4 away. This one is 9, but S is 5. So it's 4 away. So it's really just noticing that they have to be the same distance away from that line of symmetry, which is on five. All right, hopefully that was helpful for you. And then uh, for uh, second page, use the plane on the right to complete the following task. Draw a line P whose rule is y is equal to x. Now we've talked about this being the rule a couple of times because when y is equal, it means if they're both 1, 1, we're going to have the point here. If we're going to have 2, 2 or 3, 3, this is the line that bisects the graph exactly down the middle and through the origin. So draw your line. Excuse me. And this is line P. 
And so we've done step A. Now we're going to plot the points in the same way uh, from table A on the grid in order, then draw line segments to connect the points in order. Don't put polka dots and then forget to connect the points. It makes it really hard to um, make the figure when you're finished. So uh, starting out with one half, one half, look at your number line and say, okay, we are not counting by ones, we're counting by halves. So every other one is going to have a half value. And uh, plotting our points at one half, one half, we start here. And then we have one, two. So one for x and two for y. So I've plotted that, but remember you need to connect. So we're going to use our ruler this time because we're not following the, um, the lines. And so it might get a little bit harder to make a straight line. So one and a half, one and a half, remember, this is going to have, if it's equal, then they're going to meet in the middle. So one and a half, one and a half meets in the middle on the line. Connect your points. And then two, four, connect your points. Three and a half, three and a half will be on the line. Remember, if they're equal, then it's on the line. So this one came directly in, but this one doesn't quite go directly in. There's a bit of an angle. Four, four and a half, four for X, four and a half for Y is only slightly above the line, but connect your points. And then five, five is back on the line. Five, five. So we have this cool geometric looking shape on one side. So just on the top of line P. So we've done step B and then complete the drawing to create a figure that is symmetric about line P. Remember the fancy wording that just means create the mirror image on the opposite side. Now our line P is not up down and our line P is not horizontal. Line P is at an angle, which means that if this is the side where the design is, this is the mirror image on this side. This messes with kids. Very, very hard to see, especially when um, they can barely get the horizontal and perpendicular. So um, you have to come up with where the points go. So sometimes kids will turn their book so that they can get a better eyeball view at where the points would go. You can totally do that. I also recommend using the up and over method. So if you're going to try to connect the points to something that you previously have, then go up and over. Um, for example, from the one point that's here, I have to go out one, two, three, and over one. So I would go one, two, three, and over one. And I would put my point here, and that makes my the tip of this, you know, arrow type figure. And then I want to put uh, the, the ordered pair for this point into table B so that it is part of the symmetric about the line. So it's two, one for my first point. The second point is going to connect right back here in the middle. So when it's symmetric about the line and the point is on the line, you just make your connection. So the one and a half, one and a half is going to be your next point. I think I forgot the first point. Let's move it down. There we go. First point is where we start. So that's the one half, one half. Sorry if you don't have an eraser, uh, fix that and make sure you have one half, one half as your starting point. Because from there you go out to that next one, that's your two, one, then you have your one and a half, one and a half back on the line, and then we can go out to uh, make our fourth point, which is not on the line of symmetry. 
Okay, so for this one, it was from this point, one, two, three, four, five up and over one. So one, two, three, four, five up and over one. And connect to that point on the line of symmetry. And write the ordered pair for two. Look at how that's funny and opposite. Okay, then we connect back to the line of symmetry and record that same point value. So it's three and a half, three and a half, because we keep coming back to the points that are on the x equals y. There's only one more that's not on the line. Okay, now you can do the one, two up and over one, one, two up and over one. Or you can look at this triangular shape and say, all right, from here, it's just on the top of this little triangle, so it should be on the top of this little triangle. And then connect your points and close it off because the last one is going to be on the line. So after the three and a half, three and a half, your point value should be four and a half, four, which is the opposite of this one. And then your final point is on the line, and it's 5, 5, just like it was over here. There you go. Okay, and hopefully you have a nice um, figure that's symmetric about line P. Complete the drawing. We did it. Compare the y-coordinates in table A with those in table B. And so the y-coordinates in table B are the x-coordinates from A. Look at, remember how I said, hey, that's the opposite. Hey, that's the opposite. Hey, that's the opposite again. Okay, so what do you notice? The y in B is the x from table A. So when we do this back and forth on this line of symmetry, or about the line of symmetry, you have a pattern. Then compare the x coordinates in table A with those in table B. Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe and come back again. Hopefully these videos are helpful. Compare the x coordinates in table A with those in table B. What do you notice? So when the points are not on the line, then table B's uh, points are the flipped and opposite of what table A had. Okay, so the flipped and opposite. When not on the line, flipped and opposite. When the points are not on line P, our line of symmetry, table B points are flipped or opposite of table A. There you go. Squeezing it in, moving it up so you guys can see it. So uh, that is about all you need for this homework activity. And I hope this was helpful. It is fun to create those figures that are uh, around a line of symmetry. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.